Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Architubo. I am Architect Vaibhavi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So in this video, we are going to be discussing about quantitative questions again because so many of you requested that you wanted to have more quantitative questions. So here we go. Let us start with the video now. So the first question we have is the area of a square and rectangle are equal. So we have given this situation the area of square and rectangle are equal. If the side of a square is 30 cm, if the side of a square is 30 cm and breadth of the rectangle is 18 cm. So we have given square side 30 cm and the breadth of rectangle which is 18 cm and we have given the uh, situation where the area of square and the area of rectangle are equal so we have to find the length of the rectangle so now what we have given is area of square right area of square it is side square right it is side square and what is the area of rectangle area of rectangle is what length into breadth but the situation that we have been given is area of square area of square is equal to area of rectangle so we have side square here which is equal to length into breadth right because of this formula and we have given the side square which is 30 square and we have given the breadth right which is 18 <coughs> so if we have given this we can simply solve this now so 30 square is 900 okay into length into 18 so we have to now calculate the length of rectangle okay we have come to the solution now l equals to 900 upon 18 okay which comes up to 50 so the length of the so the length of the rectangle is 50 centimeters okay now let us discuss about the second question if the selling price of bicycle is 5400 okay let's highlight selling price is 5400 profit made by shopkeeper is 20 percent on each product okay and the we have to find what is the cost price of the bicycle reading the question again if the selling price of a bicycle is 5400 the profit made by shopkeeper is 20 percent then what is the cost price we have your selling price okay which is up to 5400 we have 20 percent of profit and now what we have to find is the cost price or the actual price of the bicycle okay so now consider if he is costing the price rupees 100 okay and he is making the profit of 20 percent it will come up to 120 rupees he is making it with 20 percent of profit right now if you have to calculate the selling price so the selling price will be equal to 100 percent divided by the profit of the person that he made okay into the selling price which is 5400 so the 20 percent is what 120 so the 100 on 120 divided into 5400 so if we do this calculation this comes up to something like this now if we calculate this 5 into 5400 comes up to 27000 okay which is divided by 6 so the correct answer is 4500 the cost price so the cost price of the bicycle is 4500 so what is the difference between the selling price and the cost price if we extend this question selling price minus cost price so 5400 minus 4500 so he is making 900 rupees profit on every bicycle that he sells okay 
so this is one of the very interesting questions which is related to your architectural study so let us discuss a door frame dimensions 4 meter into 3 meter is fixed on the wall of dimension of 15 into 12 meters so there is a dimension of door which is of 4 meter into 3 meter okay and the wall dimensions are 15 into 12 meters so let us first draw that so that you can get a clear idea so this is a wall this is your 15 okay and this is your 12 then we have what 4 meter by 3 meter so we have here 4 meter by 3 meter door frame okay so let us see this is 4 by 3 now what we have to find is find the total labor charges for painting the wall if the labor charges for painting 1 meter square of the wall and which is 12.50 rupees so 1 meter for 1 meter per square he will charge 12.50 rupees and now we have a door over here so we will have to cancel this area out right so we we don't want this area but what we want is this particular area to be painted so obviously we will have to minus this area the area of the door okay from the area of the wall so what is the solution for this area of door which is given to us is 4 into 3 meters which comes up to 12 meter square right and what is the area of the wall area of total wall this is total wall okay including the door frame 15 into 12 so it comes up to 180 meter square right now it is very simple we have to minus the door area like the area of the door from area of the total wall minus the area of door from the total wall minus area of door so 180 meter square minus 12 meter square which comes up to 168 meter square okay now we have done the calculation for this part okay but we have another equation to satisfy now if the painter is charging one square meter for 12.50 rupees then we have to multiply right 12.50 into we have how much of square 168 so it comes up to 2100 rupees for this particular wall he will charge okay okay so the fourth question is very simple we have to find the side of a triangle whose two sides are 8 centimeter and 11 centimeter and the perimeter is also given which is 32 centimeter it is very simple math okay so we have a triangle which is a b and c let's consider one side 11 and one side 8 and now we have to find the a b and we have given the perimeter which means the sum of all sides of triangle is 32 centimeters so we have given these two situations so uh, let us start with the area now ac plus bc plus ab is equal to 32 okay we have ac which is 11 we have bc which is 8 we have ab and which is the perimeter is 32 okay so 19 plus ab is equal to 32 now we can easily find the ab which is ab is equal to 32 minus 19 so we have now 13 centimeter so the side is 13 centimeter okay question number 5 Mohan bought a watch and saved rupees 200 when a discount of 25% was given 
so this makes a equation itself 200 rupees was saved which was when when the discount of 25% was given now we have to find what what was the price of the watch before the discount so we have to guess and tell the original price of the watch before discount so let's make this equation work so we have 25% of discount right which is 200 rupees that he saved on that particular purchase so 25 into the actual price is equal to 200 which is divided by 100% of discount okay so from this equation we can calculate easily 200 into 100 divided by 25 if i divide 100 by 25 it comes up to 4 so the actual cost is 200 into 4 which is rupees 800 right so the actual price of the watch is rupees 800 okay this is also a very interesting question now we have to find a rectangular park which is 50 meter long and 30 meter wide let us first draw the plan of a park okay so this is your park okay which is 50 by 30 okay this is 50 by 30 okay then a path 3 meter wide is constructed outside the park okay outside the park 3 meter from each side okay then find the area of the path now we have to find the area for this okay so now we have to find the area so now let's first give the names to the rectangles so consider this being a b c and d and let's assume this p q r and s and we have to find the area of this now if i consider pq which is this 3 meter this is 3 meter again this is 3 meter over here again this is 3 meter over here so the pq is 3 plus 50 plus 3 right whereas ab is 50 right then let us discuss about ps which comes to this is 30 this length is 30 and plus 3 and 3 meters so 3 plus 30 plus 3 whereas ad is what 30 right now if we consider the rectangle area of pqrs okay area of rectangle rectangle pqrs which will be length into breadth which is 56 into 36 which is 2016 okay so we have area of rectangle abcd which is length into breadth and with what is the length 50 into 30 which comes to 1500 meter square right now we can minus this area from this area area of pqrs minus area of a b c d then we can get the this region right here so 2000 so 2016 minus 1500 so the path area is 
516 meter square okay again we have this interesting question we have to count the age phase vertex for given cube and pyramid and complete the following table okay so let us discuss about the square first so this is the age this line is the age this is the face okay and this point over here is vertex so we have to find this for a cube and for pyramid so now let us find so let us start with vertex um so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 and 8 so we have eight vertices now let us discuss about the edges so this is one edge 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 we have 12 edges and we have to find now face so i will just one two from red side three from this side four five and from top six so the faces are six okay now same we have to do with the pyramid one two three and the rear side which is four okay then we have edges I will take different color. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six edges. Then we have vertices. We have one, two, three, and four. Yes. So there are four vertices. Okay. Question number eight. At the end of a meeting hall, all ten people present shakes hand with each other once. Okay, there are ten people present which shakes hand with each other at once. So there are ten persons, and each person is shaking the hand with nine other person, and it goes same for all. Okay, so consider is if so consider if A is shaking hands with b then this is another individual so b will also shake hands with a right so the probability is that this two persons will shake the hands twice so we have to count this as well now we have 10 people here right so let us discuss so 10 people will shake hands with nine other people okay but the probability is that a is shaking hands with b and as an individual b is also shaking hands with a right because 10 people are there and they are shaking hands with each other so we have twice time handshakes done by these two or everybody else out there so 90 divided by 2 which comes up to 45 okay so the answer is 45 each person shakes hands with nine other people but this counts each handshake twice as i mentioned so once for each participant we need to divide by 2 to avoid double counting so here's why we have 45 answer okay and yes with that we have discussed get another quantitative series do let me know if you want me to post more such videos and with that we have come to the end of this video please like comment share and subscribe to my channel below i'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye